again. Welcome, welcome. It's four o'clock. It's time for Wonder Sparks DIY Puppet Craft. Woo! Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Christina with Wonder Spark Puppets. It is four o'clock, so that means it's time for today's DIY puppet craft. We're here every day, uh, every weekday at four and Saturdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. So we are here every day for uh, puppet making fun. And this week, like I just said, is music week. So we're gonna be doing music themed crafts all week. And on Friday at 11 a.m., we're going to live stream this week's puppet show, which will be the Three Billy Goat Scruff. And there is a lot of sound and fun music in that show. So, hence, music week. All right. So today, we're going to do something really cute and fun. We're making these monster maracas. <laughs> So um, yeah, I think these are gonna be fun. There's a lot of room for you to be creative in uh, the ways that you want and, um, and they make a fun noise. So that's always fun as well. All right, let's go over our supplies. So dig back out the, uh, the Easter decorations. You're gonna want one of these little plastic eggs here. You're gonna want um, some uncooked rice or you can use some uh, buttons, some little plastic buttons, or some beads if you have them. Or maybe even like, um, if you got some gravel outside, maybe even like some small rocks, really anything that can kind of clank together and make a little noise. Anything like that will work. Okay, so something to make noise. You'll need two plastic spoons, some masking tape or other strong tape, and some construction paper. I've got lots of different colors here we can choose from. Uh, some scissors, a glue stick, some markers. Got my little box of markers here and some yarn. Now I, I used yarn for the hair but um, I thought it was uh, really fun but you can use pipe cleaners or you can decorate your um, maraca puppet how Ever you want but I'm gonna use yarn and da, 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 a pipe cleaner lots of different colors again there and um, if you have them some googly eyes I think I forgot to get my googly eyes out so we'll just make some eyes for this puppet but earlier I had some googly eyes I just stuck them right on okay on that note let's get started so you're gonna take your plastic egg and open it up and then you're gonna take whatever you have to make noise and you're gonna put that inside the plastic egg. So I'm gonna dump out a little bit of rice here so I don't make a total mess. And I'm just gonna dump some right inside. Actually, this might be a little bit messier than I expected. Yeah, why not? It's okay if we get a little messy. Okay, that might be a little much. Yeah, okay. So I'm not quite filling it all up. You want there to be room for the rice or whatever you have to shake around. So I, I put it in the bigger side of the egg here, but I didn't fill it to the top. That should be enough for us. So now I'm just gonna close it up. So you can test it out already. Nice. All right, I'm gonna sweep away my extra little grains here so they don't get in the way. And I'll set that aside. Okay, so we're done with that for now. We've already got our noise making device. So now the rest is going to be um, just putting it together and decorating. So now the spoons are going to be so that we have a nice handle for our malaka. So I want to make sure the egg is closed nice and tightly and then we're going to tape, we're going to use our masking tape to just tape the two spoons to either side of the egg. So if you have a helper around it might be helpful to have somebody help you to hold it in place um, while you tape or vice versa. You can hold it and you can have a helper to do the taping. I'm gonna see if I can do it all at once. All right. So I'm holding the two spoons on either side 
my tape is <laughs> sticking together. And I'm going to try to get the, um, the bottom of the spoons kind of close together so it makes a nice handle. I don't want them to be too far apart because then it's not as easy to hold. So we want the stick part of the spoon to be kind of close together. All right. Let's see if I can tape this on. There we go. That's not too bad. All right, so my spoons are a little small, so they're kind of crossing a little bit. So I'm gonna put one more piece of tape just right around, probably about right there, just to kind of hold it in place so that it's a nice handle. And our tape also um, holds our egg closed, so all the little rice or whatever is inside doesn't fall out. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little thinner and I'm just gonna put one more tape around the handle. Okay. There we go. All right. So now all I'm going to do is work on making my monster character. Now I made mine a monster because it starts with an M and Morocco also starts with an M. So I thought that would be fun to make monsters. If you want to make yours a princess or a prince or, you know, a school teacher or whatever character you want to make your Morocco will be great, but I'm going to do a monster. So I'm just going to take my uh, a sheet of construction paper. I've got a nice bright orange and I'm just going to cut out a circle that's about the same size as my egg, but it doesn't have to be exact. So I'm going to draw it out here so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. More like an oval than a circle. But that's fine. So I'm cutting it out. And I'm going to make sure that I do all of the decorating on my monster face before I attach it to my maraca. Because it's going to be easier that way. All right. Got my circle cut out. And now I'm going to make my own eyes since I forgot to get my googly eyes. Or, like, another idea, if you do have buttons, you can always use buttons for eyes if you want. That would be cute. If you've got some strong glue, that's another idea. I'm going to stick to paper for this. So I'm just going to draw two circles on my paper. And I'm going to draw two black pupils inside of those circles. And now I'm going to cut those out. If you want to fold your paper and only draw one circle, then when you cut it out, you'll have two circles the exact same size and shape. But I want my monster to be a little silly, so I don't care if his eyes are exactly the same size and shape. I think it's okay if they're a little different. Okay. So now I'm just going to glue those on to my face with my glue stick. Since these are kind of small, I'm just going to brush Brush the eye right over the glue and then stick it on. There we go. And now I'm going to give my little monster some teeth. Whoop. I lost a marker. There we go. Um, so I'm just going to draw basically some little triangles. Yeah. I think that would be good. I'm going to do two sets. Okay. So you can see I already cut some out here, but this is what I drew. Just some little, basically a little zigzag line making these kind of points. And I did two sets because I'm going to have top teeth and bottom teeth. I've decided. So I'm going to cut those out. Ah. Okay. Ooh, these teeth, they're flying all over the place. Okay. Let's cut out my other set. Just right along that zigzag line. Okay. So I've got two sets of teeth for my little monster. I'm going to put the glue on the side where I uh, have the marker so that you don't really see it. And once again, I'm just brushing it along the glue. 
and I'm going to glue them one over top of the other. <laughs> These get some funky, sharp, chompy teeth. Let's see, let's see. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay, a little light play there. Okay. I'm going to take my marker and just give a couple of other features. I'm going to give a little round nose and some zigzaggy eyebrows. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think I am done with my face. And now I'm going to give my monster some wacky hair. So I'm going to take my yarn. I'm going to unroll quite a bit here. And we have done this before. I'm just going to take my hand like this flat and I'm going to start wrapping that yarn around my fingers. Not too tight. Just nice and loose. Okay. That should be plenty. I'm going to cut off the end. So now watch your fingers. If you need an adult helper to help you out with this part, totally fine. So I'm going to take my scissors through where all the yarn is looped and just cut it right there. And now I'm going to take the middle of that, hold it all together. So once again, there's a loop and I'm going to cut that as well. So now I should have a nice handful of yarn. That's all about the same size. I'm going to take one piece of masking tape. And I'm going to lay it in front of me like this. Ooh. Mine's curling up, so I'm going to hold it down a little bit. I'm going to take my little handful of yarn, spread it out a little bit and kind of push it down onto the tape. So the tape will kind of hold it all together like that. All right, now I take my little monster and the rest of the tape, I'm gonna wrap it around that egg so it should hold all the yarn in place. Yeah, there we go. So now I've got some fun little yarn hair that's gonna flop around whenever I make noise. Great, cool. And now I'm ready to attach my little monster face to my little maraca puppet. All I'm going to do for that, if you have um, like some strong glue, you can use that. I think uh, glue stick is probably not going to hold on the masking tape. So all I'm going to do is take another piece and just roll it up like that. I put it on the back of my little face and then I can just push it on to the maraca. Ta -da! Okay, so we are almost done. The only other thing I did was I used a pipe cleaner to make um, some little arms. Let's see, what color do I want? I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go blue. This nice light color blue. All I'm gonna do is basically kind of fold it in half just to see where the middle is. I'm going to, on the back, I'm holding that fold that I made at the front of my puppet and now I turn it to the back and I'm just going to twist the pipe cleaner around itself. Yeah, maybe like two or three times so that it stays in place. So now I've got two long arms sticking out that are about the same size and I can just curl around a little circle to make a little hand and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Haha, <laughs> and I'm gonna give them a little uh, a little bend in the elbow as well. So, uh, so the pipe cleaner should wobble a little bit also as you are shaking your maraca. So you've got this fun hair that swings around, and you've got these fun little wobbly arms. And you know what? I know it's really bright, so I'm gonna outline these teeth so you can see that my monster is actually very ferocious and scary with these teeth. Hang on. Okay, let's see if that helps. Okay, 
<laughs> there we go. Now you can see those teeth. All right. That's my little monster maraca <laughs> for music week. So I hope you all had fun. Please uh, post pictures of your monster maraca puppets. Oh, look, I have a set now. So I'm ready to jam. <laughs> okay, so again, it's music week. So all this week, we're going to be making all sorts of fun musical crafts. So um, look out for that. We're here every day. Monday through Friday, it's at 4 o'clock, and Saturdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. And as always, check out our website for all of our fun goings on. You can buy merch or check out our membership programs. You can also enter to win a raffle to have your very own private live streamed puppet show. As I said, we also have free public puppet shows every Friday at 11 a.m. So always look out for that. And the videos will be um, on our Facebook page for the full week until the next live show. So if you miss it live, you can check it out for the next week. And lastly, you can also order a puppet telegram or a live puppet chat. So there's always some fun stuff happening. Check out our website, wondersparkpuppets.com. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. And we will see you tomorrow for more Music Week. Bye, everyone.